Hi guys, it's Jen. Thanks so much for joining me today for this week's Friday haul and a few project shares. Today's Friday, March 6th, I think. Yep, 2020. And uh, yeah, I've got some stuff from Michael's, Joann's, Hobby Lobby, mostly Hobby Lobby, Lobby clearance again, and one thing from AliExpress, and I'll show you what I made with that. So let's get started. Hope you guys are doing well. I've got my coffee all ready and ready to go. So the first thing I wanted to show you guys were these beads I got from Michaels. Um, I have been making these planner clips just like everybody else has all the tassels and stuff. And I showed these on Instagram. You've seen them there if you follow me. Also strawberry cream 39. So aren't these cute? I just love them. Um, Armin at Happy Mail Queen had shown tassels with this trim from Hobby Lobby. So that was all I needed to make some more. So I made this one with some charms from AliExpress. This charm I made out of a, a bale and a resin piece. So you just glue it on there. And might as well show these now, right? And this one, I used a couple beads from the Big Hobby Lobby clearance pack I showed last week. And a few smaller beads from Allie. Another tassel I made. And another charm I made with the bail. I love this one. I think it came out really cute. And then the last one I made is out of chain. There's no like stringing in, involved. I have a tutorial on my channel for the stringing ones. The ones I made like this. I'll link it down below just in case you haven't seen it, but um, this one, you don't really need a tutorial for these, I don't think. You just get a piece of chain and some jump rings and just attach all the charms on. So another tassel like that. This one is a charm from AliExpress. This is another one that I made. Isn't that cute? Oh, I mean, I didn't make the ice cream. I just made it into a charm. And there's a little sailboat and a piece of bling from Joann's, I think. And I glued on a bow. Yeah. So, so yeah, I wanted to get some different kind of beads. And I saw these at Michael's. I thought they had a really pretty variety. I really like this. It's like a raspberry kind of iridescent one. And I think the holes seem to be big enough. Yeah. So this was the normal price was $7.49. I just used a 40% off coupon. I should have, when I got home, I realized I had a 25% off total purchase from Joann's that I should have applied to this. But anyway, I got that. So that was it from Michael's. Oh, and I got these bracelets there too. They come in a two pack of the same color, but I just put two, uh, two of the bigger ones together. They were on clearance for... Let's see, the two packs were $2.47. So check your jewelry section because they have pretty ready-made uh, bracelets. They even have earrings too, but see, they have like different beads like that. And I just like obviously the pink and aqua together. So I put them together. So that's it from Michael's, just a small little thing. You don't get much at Michael's these days. Don't you find like, you know, they change things around like once every few months and then you don't get anything new for a while, so... I don't know. It's not worth it to go in there sometimes. But Joann's is a different story because they put out, I think they put out more seasonal things. So I went in there one day. Um, I think this was over the weekend. They had like a 60% off sale. So I got these pretty charms. I needed some more gold-based charms. I, had, I just ordered some from Allie, but you know, those take a while. So I like these. They're pretty different color flowers and they're mounted on a gold like lacy flower background that's pretty i love all the colors it's so springy 12 charms oops sorry not the tripod and this i forget how much it was i think it was 7.99 originally but 60 percent off so so i got that last week and today i stopped in there to um today i stopped in there again <laughs> And I was looking to see if they had the, the Maggie Holmes planner things. I saw that Ramona and Cherished Treasures had uh, done a walkthrough at her Joann's. And mine has a space for it, but nothing's out yet. So I'll go back another time. But they did have a 25% off total 
purchase coupon and a lot of things were on sale so i did get some stuff now this line is called place and time picnic weather craft components and these were in they weren't in the like the paper crafting section they were in the like the seasonal decor section on an end cap just in case you're interested and this line was all 40 percent off and i used my 25 percent off total coupon so this thing of pom-poms was $4.99 and came out to $2.99 with the 40% off and then I'm not sure exactly how much the 25% off that individual item was but I did get $5 off my total purchase so but I'll just show you aren't these cute pom-poms I like how loopy they are they're not like they don't seem to be like re regular pom-poms to me and this looks really blue on camera but it's it's teal aqua all the other colors look normal. I don't know why the camera does that to teal. But yeah, so there are those pom-poms. And then I got these tassels. Love the colors. They're so summery. There's two purple ones, fuchsia. This one's a navy blue, yellow, and aqua. So those were also $4.99, 40% off, and 25% off that. I'm going to sip a coffee. One of those days. Okay. And then from that line, I also got these two packs of sequins. Ooh, look how iridescent and sparkly they are. Aren't they pretty? And I thought these were a good deal. $2.99, 40% off. That is $1.79 plus another, you know, quarter off that. So, so these have, these are stars and purple but you could see there's a lot of like I don't know if that's iridescence or what but really nice size stars too and then this one is oh look little cactuses or cacti pretty and then these are yellow flowers nice to have some yellow sequins right and then pink no not flamingos these are mermaids oh how cute adorable these would be great for summer projects summer shakers and then this is like like a dark blue just a, a regular cup sequin these colors right i like all the colors together okay oh here are the flamingos i knew there were flamingos somewhere this is the next pack and then there are some pineapples oh so cute more mermaids. Let's see if they're the same. Oh, they're a little different color. Got a little purple and a little pink. Well, that's good. They're different. And then we have some aqua large cup sequins. And some more of the navy blue. So those are the same. Okay. Cute packs, right? Glad to get those. What else did I get from Joanne? Oh, I got this set of charms. These were all their Hildy and Joe charms. Were oh, let's see, I dropped my. Let me see. Hang on. Okay, these were hmm, seven ninety nine the regular price, and okay, these were fifty percent off, so they were three ninety nine, and then the extra twenty five percent off. I really like. Look at that one. Isn't that pretty? It has like like polka dots on it. I thought these would be good at the, the end of tassels. And I love these little um, glass ones that are filled with bling. Those you have to be careful on tassels. I've had those break before and all the things come spilling out. So um, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for. I love these, but I think it's glass. It might be plastic. Hard to tell. And then there's this one. This is so cute. It's like ready-made charm already and this one I like it I'm not really sure what I would use it as but I really like the pattern and texture to it and then this one oh so cute kind of reminds me of like a like an old-fashioned perfume bottle pretty pink color yeah. and the only other thing I got from Joann's not crafty but maybe you want to see it I got this garden flag and it looks like that and these were 50% off. Let's see, it was $12.99 originally. Yeah, $6.49. And the 25% off. So 
Oh, I need a new springy flag. I, you know, I have garden flag pole thingies outside and I usually put the same ones out every year, but let's change it up a little, right? All right, let's move Julian's out of the way and we'll get to Hobby Lobby because I have a ton of Hobby Lobby stuff. Um, sorry, I had to pause. And I did get a few things regular price this time, which is I'm kind of embarrassed about because I really hate doing that. But I don't know. I Well, I had one coupon and I used it for something, but then there were a couple other things I really wanted. So, well, just got them. I figured with the clearance prices, I kind of evened out, right? So anyway, I got this. This is Bejeweled Sequin Silver Yarn. And it. I think this is the coolest thing. It's very thin yarn that has sequins on it. And I thought that would be so fun for tassels, right? Who knows if it'll work the way I think, but uh, yeah, I thought that was really fun. So I'm gonna give that a try. I also got, <clears throat> excuse me, this crochet thread in metallic gold. And this I'm pretty sure will work nicely for tassels. See, it's like a, it's like a cream color with a gold thread wrapped around it. And that was only $2.85, so no big whoop for that. But this one, what did I say it was? $4.99? $4.99, yeah. And I don't think I used a coupon for it, so better be good. <laughs> All right, so I've got those. What else did I get? Let's see the regular size things. Oh, these, I, I've never seen these before in the kids' craft section. They have thick elastic cord. They have, uh, they, I got a winter pack and a tonal pink pack. There might have been more. I don't remember. And these are really thick. They're 2.7 millimeters, so super thick. Usually I get two millimeter cord from, like, from Allie. So I thought I'd give these a try. It even says three millimeter down here. But look at the colors. Oh, I couldn't resist. All different shades of pink. I only have one shade of pink right now. And I have white. I have this color, but I really like the purple and that light green. I think this will be great for my traveler's notebooks. Um, I'm hoping anyway. So yeah, I paid full price for these. So okay, maybe I... Oh no, you know what? I got glue too. That's what I used my coupon on. Okay. So yeah, more full price things. Can you see you can see them if you want? I did get my favorite glue ever. This is the Beacon 3-in-1 Advanced Craft Craft Glue. And I have to thank Ida from Created to Create who recommended this. It works so well for paper projects because your paper does not warp at all. And it dries quickly. I just I love it for everything pretty much. It's the same people that make Fabri-Tac which is also a good glue, but this is my favorite. It smells kind of bad, but I don't know. It doesn't really bother me, but it works great. So I had to get another one of those. And, oh, did I show the price? It's $6.99, but I used my 40% off coupon for it. So highly, highly recommend this glue. I just love it. Love it for everything. All right, let's move on to clearance. I got, oh, I got a bunch more ribbon, you guys. I don't know what I was thinking, but I just can't refuse pretty ribbon. And this is like lace. Let me open it up because I was thinking, since I'm in planner, not planner, tassel mode, maybe it would look nice to make a tassel out of this. Let's see. Let's take a look. If not, you know, it could be trim for projects, mini albums, things like that. Okay, so let's see. Ooh, it's pretty. It's like eyelet. And it's got a nice top to it. So to make a tassel, you know, you just kind of roll it up tightly at the top. Oh, I think that could look fun if I do it correctly. Why is that? Oh, I don't want to take too long doing this, but you guys get the picture. Maybe like fluff it out a little bit. I'll work on that, but I like that a lot. Pretty trim, 99 cents from $3.99. And you get two yards, not a whole lot, but it's pretty. 
also got, I think I got this one last week too, but I got another one. It's white with little gold dots, 49 cents. This one too, it's pink with little dots, 49 cents. And this one is pink with like iridescent dots. This is like a navy blue color, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, also 49 cents. It's good to have a darker color every now and then because I don't have very many of those. And then I got this pretty lace. This is also a re, well, this is a repurchase. I love this, it looks really pretty on projects. And I got this yellow, um, just kind of like a double ruffled ribbon. Just like that color yellow, thought it was really pretty. And you know, 49 cents for these, how could you go wrong, you know? This is like a light pale blue color. And it's um, just says polyester, but I like that color. And I got another one of these, pink with little white dots. And this, you know this, it looks like it was retaped, I wonder why. But anyway, you know this trim that we all have. Some of you guys maybe have this piece of color already, but I just have like light pink and cream and aqua, but I like this fuchsia color. It's so soft. Ah, oh, I love this trim, it's gorgeous. So this one was 99 cents. Okay, and then I got these paper clips. Cute, right? I mean, I'm sure we can make these, but for 99 cents, and you know what? I don't have a die to cut material that small, so I thought those were really cute. These were in the um, planner section. I got this Stitch Happy yarn which is, or not yarn, thread, sorry, it's multimedia thread. And last time, <coughs> sorry, on, I think last year on their clearance, I got this in gold and it's pretty good thread and it comes with a bobbin too. Can't beat that for 124. They didn't have any other colors, I don't think this time. So I just got the white. And I did get one dye. I had seen, was it Erica show this? Probably, because I always like what she shows and I like this a lot. It's a cute little snow snow globe die. And it's just adorable. And it comes with the snow day word, which I, I like that font a lot. So I grabbed that, that was from $24.99 to $6.24. And that little deer is adorable too. So it'll be fun to create a snow globe or just to use the component separately. It's called Santa's Workshop and it's 20 pieces. Okay, and then just a couple more things from Hobby Lobby. I ran over there on Saturday, last Saturday. Hold on one sec. Thanks. Because their paper studio was still 50% off. So I wanted to get some more of their new paper packs. I did get this one. I saw Armin at um, Happy Mail Queen show this one. So if you want to see uh, everything that's in it, just head on over to her channel. She has a video uh, and she opens up all the ephemera and stuff. And it's so cute. It's all creating, uh, baking and paper crafting and sewing. So and I love doing all those things. So I got this really cute. Not crazy about that paper. I don't know what I would use it for, but these are the other papers that it comes with. Oh, so cute, right? Look at that sewing machine. It says Maker's Gonna Make. So I got that one. Instead of nine, oops, sorry. Instead of $9.99, it was five bucks. And I got one more too. Erica had shown this one and oh, I just thought it was so cute. This one's also $9.99. It's the summer pack and it comes with the cutest ephemera and this page here with the ladies on their pool floats. So cute. This one comes with the bling and some dimensional stickers, some alphas, and these are the papers it comes with. Adorable. 
So those summer things I got from Joann's will go pretty well with these, I think. Let's see. With these pom-poms? Yeah. Looks good. All right, so that was it from Hobby Lobby for two visits from this week. And I did get one thing in from AliExpress. Slowly, I've gotten a few more things. Um, I think they were delayed in shipping because of, you know, they were quarantined, trying to take precautions for the coronavirus over there, which totally understand and not in a rush at all. <clears throat> but I finally did get this dye. It's an Easter egg dye, and you can make a shaker out of it. So, um, and it comes with this little bow too. Isn't that cute? I'll leave a link down below for it in case you're interested. And let me show you what I made, which again, I had shown on Instagram, but let's show it here too. I made this tag. I made it a shaker. I used three millimeter foam to pop it up and filled it with some pretty pastel sequins and a couple little seed beads. I like to use little round beads and shakers because it helps move everything around, don't you think? Everything moves smoother when it has those. And these are stickers from Hobby Lobby in their Easter section. And this cute little bunny paper is from, I think that one's from the DCWV Happy Spring. And I had this in my stash for a while. I made a little bow uh, and hanging thing. And that's it put a piece of washi here just to hold it in place. Isn't that cute? I like that. And this sticker is from Hobby Lobby too, in the same pack that this is in. And then I decided to make it into a little box too. Uh, I'm not really good at that. I've never done it before, but I did make this one. So as you can see, it's a little box. And I had put M&Ms in it and showed it on my Instagram. Here I just have a little felty in there. Isn't she cute? So I think this came out super cute. I used paper from the Michaels, what's it called? Spring and Hop or something like that. The new Easter pa Hot Buy paper pad. And this is a button from Joann's and there's a, um, the die punches out, where's that? A little hole to make it a tag. But if you're not making it a tag, you have a hole there. So I just stuck a, a button in there and glued it in. And I glue, uh, this is vellum that I use the, the bow dye and a little bit of bling. And I um, added some, let's see, what did I do? Oh, okay. I put some foam, I cut it out of foam and then I glued some trim to the outside of that just to make it into a box. And then for the inside, I used the back, the backing die to make the back of it of course and then I just cut a small piece a small strip of paper and scored it about a quarter of an inch and scored it under and then you can't really see because I glued a, a piece of paper to it too but just kind of glued it along the bottom to make it dimensional put a little piece of tool in there and there's a little bunny so, oops. So that is it. Hope you guys like everything. It was fun shopping this week, of course. When is it not fun shopping, right? Hopefully next week I should have a Tuesday morning haul because I'm going to pick up my daughter at college. And you know what that means. Gotta stop at Tuesday morning. <laughs> so stay tuned for that. Uh, I will be back soon. I just put up a video yesterday, last night, a video response for Tony at Craft Purge's um, two-year YouTube giveaway. So if you want to check that out, that was just from yesterday. That's it. Leave me a comment if you'd like, and I will talk to you soon. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye, everybody.